Hey, Rasmonites, how are you doing? No, there's nothing wrong with me. I just didn't feel like putting a hat on for once in my life. <laughs> Today, we are going to continue our reviews of Dollhouse Season 1 as I take a look at Episode 9, A Spy in the House of Love. Today, on the Razman's Reality. Okay, so just a couple of quick things here. First of all, I am working on a new intro, a little bit of a different look for the show. So if you guys just saw that new intro, then great. Tell me what you think about it. If you didn't, it'll probably be either in the episode 10 review or the episode 11 review. I'm just trying to do some final touches to it. But the plan right now is to do the rest of season one uninterrupted and then we can get into some other things. Yeah, which leads me into my second thing that I wanted to cover before, real quick before I get into the heart of this and that is some of you have asked me about season two of Dollhouse. Am I going to do Dollhouse season two reviews? Well the answer to that is I would absolutely love to do it. I think that season two was the better season. It takes the first, excuse me, the second half of season one and really built on it. I think it's an absolutely tremendous season. And even though word did come down that the show was going to be canceled as it was going on and some plot lines are a bit rushed because it was like three or four or five seasons worth of stuff crammed into one. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really done really well. So yeah, I would love to do it. For those of you that are fans, obviously you're either a fan of myself or hopefully more importantly, you're a fan of the show if you're watching these reviews. So yeah, I would absolutely love to do it, but unfortunately I don't have the means to right now because I don't have the season two set. Although, if you follow me on Twitter, or my friend on Facebook or read my bulletin from earlier today, if you have been holding out waiting for a price drop for season two and have the means, right now I don't have the means because I'm broke. But if you have the means and want to get season two on Blu-ray, now would be a great time to do it because it's dropped from its sticker price of 60 on Amazon all the way down to $42.99. So I do believe that's a sale price. I do periodically check things that are on my wish list and I don't think I've ever seen Dollhouse Season 2 this low. Even for pre-order it was $50 US. If you have the means to do it, go and pick up Season 2 on Blu-ray because it's incredibly cheap on Amazon.com right now. So. When and if I'm ever able to get that set, I will definitely do season two, but for right now, unfortunately, it's going to end with season one. Now, that was a lot more intro than I intended, so yeah, let's go ahead and actually talk about episode nine entitled, A Spy in the House of Love. A Spy in the House of Love is actually one of my favorites of the first season. It is a episode about two different major problems. The first of which is that Topher finds a chip in the memory chair which has been used to alter the makeup of the imprint of the dolls. So whatever the dollhouse is imprinting, other government agencies are able to alter that imprint which obviously would not be good. So, Topher panics, he goes to Boyd, reports the spy to Boyd because he doesn't know who to trust at this point, and basically the entire dollhouse becomes suspect, 
And this was the first glimpse of what we see toward the end of season one and really, really take off in all of season two. And that's the fact that there is really something different about Echo. She's not your typical doll. These imprints aren't having the effect on her that they're intended to have, and that being wiping her brain completely clean, because Echo actually goes to Topher, and even in a mind wipe state, says, I can do that, or I can help, or something along that, those lines, she's actually telling Topher to imprint her and make her an expert on discovering spies. So Echo becomes the lead in the investigation to try to figure out who the spy in the dollhouse is. I won't give away who it is because there might be a few of you who haven't seen the episode even though I did advise before watching the series. Uh, this series of videos, that is, to watch the actual Dollhouse series before you watch these reviews. But, nonetheless, just in case, I'm not going to ruin the ending of the episode. But, that is my favorite thing about it, is that it's our first glimpse to see that, hey, Echo is a take charge kind of a doll. She's different. Well, actually, it's our second glimpse, because our first glimpse is during episode 6, Man on the Street which I've already talked about, but yeah, the concept that they really centered season two around began here in the Spy in the House of Love. So I love that aspect. The second plot line of this is where the love part comes from, and that's the fact that we learn that Adele, the head of this particular dollhouse, of course, actually has had Victor be her lover several times over, at disguising herself as a client named Miss Lonely Heart. So we get to see a more human side of Adele, and we actually see Adele give up Victor by the end of the episode, and so I really like seeing her character grow and see that Adele actually does have a heart, which again is something that we see more and more of in season two. This episode was all about setting up for season two, pretty much. And the final aspect is to help with the investigation, Sierra gets imprinted as an NSA agent because NSA is supposedly the only government agency that the dollhouse doesn't have any ties to. So she tries to figure out who from the NSA is trying to infiltrate the dollhouse. So, there's a lot of things going on in this episode, and I had a lot of great acting, and it's just one of my absolute favorites from season one. So, I hope I did it justice. I think Elijah's brilliant. I think that everyone in the crew is brilliant in this episode. Oh, and Ballard, throwing my pink in. This is the episode where Ballard learns that November is actually November and not Millie because whoever is spying for the dollhouse and trying to help bring the dollhouse down actually sends a message to Ballard through November's programming. So that was a really intricate plot point and it changes their whole dynamic and you really get to see Ballard's character grow and sort of evolve into what we see from him at the end of season one going into season two. So again, all about setting up for season two in the Spy in the House of Love. So it's absolutely one of my favorite ones and I can't recommend it enough. This is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.